As the Sikkim rescue operations enter day four, Army has begun slithering operation to rescue foreign engineers in Sikkim. Army has begun airdropping relief to people in Sikkim and other areas. Now, over 70 foreign tourists were rescued by the Army today. We have reviewed the immediate works that have to be done. The immediate works are providing relief to the five or six thousand people who are in the camps, restoring connectivity to the villages, restoring water supply, repairing and restoring the electricity connection, and airdropping food to the nine villages or so which have not been accessed so far. So the Corps commander assures me that by today or latest by tomorrow, they will be able to access even those nine villages. Most of the time, all the buildings were busy cracking up and the buildings are definitely moving. You could see it, see it with the eye. So yeah, um, for everybody's safety, we're only 10 South Africans there. So yeah, we wanted to move out as quick as possible. We all ran out to see what's happening if the supporter was falling down. If there was escape route, if we could get out. But we was lucky to survive the mountain. The weekly supplies, we were well stocked. Um, fooding wasn't a problem, water was available. Uh, we had the generator for electricity. Um, the main concern was the landslides around the area. And there was no entrance because all the roads are blocked. Um, by yesterday morning, the military came there and they started coordinating uh, a escape route that, which we followed this morning since 5.30. And Madhav Das Gopalakrishnan, our correspondent, sent us this report. Well, uh, really, uh, what is making things difficult over here for the top two lines is a couple of uh, issues. First, of course, is the entire issue of uh, uh, the bad weather in certain places, cloudy weather in the upper ridges, making it difficult uh, for any kind of visibility. Uh, uh, obviously, also, of course, apart from that, is the fact that uh, several gorges in which uh, some of the inaccessible villages are located are very, very narrow. And these narrow valleys mean that it's very difficult to maneuver the choppers in those areas. So what the army has been doing in those parts is that it has been dropping soldiers of the parish on uh, ropes really uh, to the ground carrying with them relief material. They will be with the uh, affected villagers for two to three days. They have medical aid, they have food materials with them as well as of course all other kinds of supplies that would be required in the village. They will of course help them with whatever relief work is required in that particular place. In this case of course 10 foreign nationals also being rescued in a similar manner. They were in fact taken uh, by the army uh, so soldiers who dropped yesterday to a place where uh, the army choppers could land